Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be discussing how can anyone start and run a successful vending machine business. A little while back I released a video on my um, YouTube channel here just kind of showing a random video on my routine running my uh, vending machine business from restocking, picking up cash, what I do my day to day. And I did have a whole lot of people contacting me, um, you know, asking questions, but how do you start and run a business, um, a, a business like this? So I decided to make this video um, to just outline in, <clears throat> in um, a few five uh, steps how you can start and actually run a very successful vending machine business. Now, why vending machine? It is, I think, one of the most um, profitable uh, passive business with cash flow from day one that anyone can start with, okay? So, please, if you haven't watched the video I'm talking about, do, um, I have the link below, please do go back and check on that video. Okay, now, how do I start and run a successful vending machine business? And this is a business, I think, in my opinion, that anyone can start with, with a little, as little as $4,000. You can start a business, okay? You can start this vending machine business. Now, number one is location. Location is key to running a vending machine business. I would recommend anyone who intends to start a business like this to first of all, go and look for locations. What are you looking for? Office buildings with employees of at least 50 or more, um, schools, hotels, okay, warehouses. You wanna look for location. First thing is location. It's the key to actual profitability in this vending machine business. Okay, and then number two will be to register this business. Okay, most counties, like I'm actually in PG County, they don't require you to do any sort of registration up until when you have actually started operating. So I will recommend um, do search um, your county, your local government or local area. What are some of the um, uh, um, formalities that you need to do uh, to run a, a local business, a small business like this, okay? And, but I would recommend anyone to at least register an LLC or an S Corp if you want to do this business and grow the business long term. It is important that you do so, okay? And then the third thing is inventory. Um, you need to sit down and kind of look into what do you want to sell okay like before i started i walked around you know malls business places i would see what is in the machines and see uh, what are the prices they're selling this for and that gave me kind of an idea on what to look for when i was looking for my inventory and i also started searching for who can actually give me the best wholesale price I compare the prices from Costco, Sam's Club, Restaurant Depot, and kind of found a middle ground for which of the products that I want to sell. Okay, so it is very important that you look into your inventory. Now, your inventory will also determine the kind of machine that you would have to buy. Now, what I operate with are combo machines. I am actually gonna show you a picture of that um now so you can see kind of have an idea of what that machine looks like um, this combo machines carry snacks carry drinks and uh, both can uh 20 ounce cans as 20 ounce bottles and canned drinks, okay? So it is up to you. There are very, so many kind of machines that you can choose from. You can choose to have a machine that just carry drinks only or just snacks only or both. Um, I chose to do this just because of the, 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 the kind of 
business places that I'm targeting to serve, okay? So um, also your inventory, like I said, your inventory will determine what kind of machine that you will go for. Now, um, in order to choose the kind of machine, I would recommend you go for new machines, but you can have very good prices for um, refurbished machines. Now, the reason why I chose to go with new machines was number one, because I want to grow this to a six figure income, uh, a six figure business, uh, which is long term. And then number two, the new machines come in with warranty, about a year or so warranty for each of the machines that I currently have. Um, also, the new machines that I that I have that I'm going with right now have a, a very a, an amazing technology with um, the credit card readers that I use. I use Nyax. This is in no way trying to um, you know promote Nyax, but I use Nyax credit card readers. Um, and I'm not getting paid for telling you about uh, Nyax in any way. I use Nyax credit card readers because it gives me the ability to also um, run my inventory on the back end. So at home, I can pull it from my phone or on, um, on my computer to see what products are selling, to see how much I've been able to sell. So I can track my inventory right from my computer so that's why i love using the nyx okay the nyx credit card readers and these new machines also are very compatible with that so this is something that i would recommend if you really want to start something like this do some research uh, do some research what kind of machines are compatible with the credit card readers that you intend to use um uh, and before you make a decision on actually doing the purchase, as a matter of fact, most of the time you will not get uh, a machine sold to you until you have a location. That's why number one is key, location. Get your location, negotiate your locations, and then go to purchasing your machines after going through your inventory, what you want to sell. Okay, that way, number one, you've got the location. Number two, in the course of purchasing your machine, you already have a location that it has to be, um, that will be delivered to. So it's very important that you um, spend a lot of time. I actually spend a couple of days just going through inventory. What do I want to sell? Uh, what's popular in terms of snacks? What are some of the popular snacks that people like to buy? Okay, um, what are the popular drinks um, that people want to get? You know, you're talking about um, energy drinks. What are some of the mo most popular energy drinks out there? Um, you know, so spend some time. I recommend spend a lot of time, um, you know, going through your inventory because that's your product and that's how you're going to make money. Also, look at the prices. Compare these prices because they do affect your bottom line. Okay, so you want to look at the purchase prices and compare them and get the best price that you can so you can make the most of your profit. Now, the next thing will be uh, setting up your machine. It is very key. Most of the times the machines come pre-configured already. And when I say set up your machine in this, in this case, I'm talking about determining the prices and setting them up in the, on the machines. Okay. Um, Different places, different locations might have ver uh, variation in their prices per uh, bottle of Coke, for example. So what I did was I did a little research around, even when I go to business places, to the supermarket and all of those, I looked at prices. Um, if I see a vending machine, I would go to the machine and look at how much are they selling Coke? So I look at the area, the location, and I want to go with something that will not look crazy, okay? So, um, but m in most cases, if you have a good um, purchase price, you're definitely going to make at least two to 300% uh, profit on each bottle or each uh, pack of candy sold. So do your due diligence. It is very, very important. And set up your prices like that uh, based on how much you want to sell. Um, I would recommend don't go too crazy. 
um, in the prices because you want to make a lot of profit I would recommend that you uh, set up reasonable prices so you can make turnover and that's how you make your profit okay because number one having a good location number two being able to turn make turnover that will determine how much profit that you're going to make okay and um, number four uh, number five actually I don't know if I said I kind of mixed four and three together that was inventory and determining your price okay so number five will be create a routine okay create a routine once you have your machine delivered you have your inventory startup inventory set up your prices set up on your machine do take some time and kind of create your in your, your routine um, usually for what I do is I um, do my cash pickup and restocking on the same day usually most of the times Saturdays okay now it's important that you also know what kind of business that you have um, or what kind of business your machine is in and the days the hours of operation so you can kind of kind of you know modify your routine based off of that so please do create your routine um, that would best suit your schedule again we're talking about this should be more of a passive or more of a semi-passive business that shouldn't take all your time um, I do visit my machines uh, sometimes um, after two weeks depends on how the inventory go um, I do go you know at least once every two weeks um, to do pick up cash pick up and then restocking at the same time now back to um, rest, uh, uh, on your inventory if you have a very good robust um, credit card slash inventory system it will be easy for you to know what to restock by the time you're going to do your restocking and cash pickup that works for me okay so it'll be up to you 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 have to study your business study those locations so there are probably some locations that will be busy um and so you also want to kind of modify that so at the beginning you need to create you have to watch it right you watch your business see how the products are selling and then you can kind of create a routine um, what I try to do is I do all my machines on the same day um, so but uh, if you're growing the business sometimes it, that would not be possible because of the location um, but I try to do things around um, I live in Maryland so I try to do things around um, you know my, not more than 50 to 100 miles away from where I currently live okay so um, again I encourage anyone can do this business anyone and you can start with as little as four thousand dollars as a matter of fact you can get refurbished machines for about fifteen hundred dollars to to twenty five hundred dollars so it depends on really what you want to go for our um, advice anyone if you want to do a business like this start small start with one machine kind of understand the business um, do your own research okay this will I, I kind of outline these on this video just to be able to help someone out there who um, was thinking that um, this is you know something that you know they couldn't do I tell you you can do it and it's profitable I can tell you it is profitable I have been able to um, make a whole bunch of profit right now to the point where I am looking to start expanding okay so I'm at the point where I want to start expanding because I'm making profit now there were a lot of questions that I did get from my previous video about how do you find locations um, I think I am actually going to shoot a whole video on its own on just how to get vending machine locations um, 
it is one of those things that um, number one because it's the key for your business I wanted to take a whole new video a whole video just to walk you through on how to get locations okay and I might actually shoot that video um, showing a whole lot of uh, people out there how to make cold calls how to call business how to contact businesses and get locations okay so stay tuned with me if you do like this um, enjoy the content here please like this video um, subscribe to this channel so you can um, uh, and hit the notification button so you can know each time I load content like this um, and please ask your questions at the comment section if there is any specific aspect that you want me to zero in on let me know on your comments um, any additional questions that you have or contributions please comment at the bottom and i will see you in the next video please look out for the next video that will be focused on how to get locations for your vending machine business Thank you so much for sticking with me. See you soon.